individual will never have the opportunity to victimize or, or harm another human being. A man is dead tonight, fatally wounded during a shootout with law enforcement officers from multiple agencies. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Those officers are part of a U.S. Marshals task force, and they were trying to arrest a known and dangerous felon this morning. It happened at the entrance to the Palms at Magnolia Park Apartments. That's located just off I-75 and U.S. 301 in Riverview. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us live from Riverview with an update on the story. Jeff. Good evening. Well, Sheriff Chad Chronister tells us that the U.S. Marshal Task Force chose this area to arrest that violent offender because it's as far away as possible from innocent bystanders. And just before 1030 this morning, this area turned very violent. The U.S. Marshals Task Force is made up of members of several local law enforcement agencies. This morning, they were looking to arrest 39-year-old Don Robert Astor on a murder warrant out of New York. Sheriff Chad Cronister says Astor is a known member of the Latin Kings gang and says he has a violent past. The task force sought to stop him here. They box the individual in from the back, from the front. They activate their, urgency, their emergency equipment. Sheriff Cronister says as soon as Astor's car was boxed in, a Polk County Sheriff's deputy and two Tampa police officers moved in to make an arrest. That's when the sheriff says Astor opened fire from inside of the car, shooting across his own nephew who was driving. Polk County Sheriff's deputy returns fire. The two Tampa police officers who placed themselves willfully in this dangerous position, they discharged their firearms as well. Tampa Police Chief Lee Vericos says in addition to the murder warrant from New York, Astor is known to have a violent arrest record. History of ag assault, violent offender, rape, robbery, possession of a firearm, a primary suspect in a homicide from New York in 2009. For Astor, it all ended here. They are able to remove the bad guy from the vehicle, and he died here at the scene. Astor's nephew was also taken into custody this morning. He's been now facing several felony charges based on his actions this morning. Another person who was in the car at the time was also taken into custody. Law enforcement officials are now working to identify him, find out who he really is, and see if he has any outstanding warrants of his own. Live in Riverview, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.